Hi there! In this video, we will introduce you to the wonderful side of Visit Teacher. What we love the most about Visit Teacher is that you don't need to pay or even create an account to benefit from almost 90% of the website. Anyway, this is the main page. As you can see right away, they have a better function to search for worksheets easily. They have over 17,000 worksheets. To find that perfect worksheet, you click on select a category. Choose whatever you like from grammar topics to writing. We are just going to select grammar for now. Let's select adverbs as our subcategory. Now, just below here, we can select a specific language level. Let's go with advanced level. Click on find. As you see on the right, we have our worksheets. Let's look at one. Now we download the worksheet. Here's our worksheet that one teacher has made for us. Now on the left, we can filter our search to change our language level. Below that, you see the related topics and top articles in this category. Now let's go to the main page again. Here we see on the right side of the page three tabs. Recently added worksheets, top worksheets this week, and top worksheets overall. In here, you can look at the most viewed worksheets. Here on the left side of the page, we have top worksheets of today, so that you can have fresh worksheets for your class every day. Now, below that, you can quickly make yourself a word search, a word scramble, or a double puzzle. Let's make a word scramble together. Click on create now. Now, we write a title. Then, write a word or a sentence. Choose your tile size, then click on Preview. Let's download our word scramble. As you can see, we have an activity and it was so easy to do. Now, below those, we have Visit Teacher advertisements and subscription service. You can subscribe to Visit Teacher to receive the new worksheets via email. At the very left of the page, we have Visit Teacher social media accounts. You can follow them here if you like. And that was it for the main page. Worksheets. In Worksheets section, you can easily find what you need. When you click on the button on the Worksheets section, there are some subcategories like General Umbrella Term All Topics A to Z and seven subcategories more, like grammar, vocabulary, speaking, reading, listening, writing, and pronunciation. If you choose all topics A to Z, you will be like a swimmer in the ocean, because all worksheets are shown here. There will be so many categories here again. You are supposed to know what you need. You can choose a related topic. For example, let's click on grammar button. As you can see here, grammar is selected as a main category. Now, you'll see worksheets which are related to only grammar. Okay, let's go on selecting. What we need here is model verbs, let's say. And again, here we have seven categories more. Let's say should and ought to. Here are the most popular worksheets to be chosen. And here, on the left side, we can filter our selections according to the language proficiency. These are the numbers of worksheets in this filtered section. Let's choose intermediate level and click on the filter button. Now we have worksheets related with should and ought to at intermediate level. Here on the right side, we have the worksheets. They are sorted by the rating. All we need is to decide whether it is suitable for us or not. Let's select should and shouldn't. On the left side, there is a quick review button. In this way, you can see the worksheets right before you download. It's a chance to see if the worksheets are suitable or not. If it's OK, on the right side of the website, you just click on the download button. Now you downloaded that worksheet. If you want to download more, just keep searching. Just know what you need and do not hesitate to click on the download button, because it's totally free. Articles. In this section, there are 2,124 articles that cover essential ESL topics, such as how to teach grammar, use Realia, and teach young learners. There are also a lot of lesson ideas and fun activities included in the articles. On the left side, here, we see again the most chosen articles. 
And on the right side, we see all articles. On the left bottom of the website, here, we can vote whether we like the section. If you want to vote, just click on the relevant star and let them know whether you like it or not. Here, let's look at the articles. All we need is just find the relevant articles for our needs. Let's click on one of them. For example, 10 fun Halloween games. Here we are in the article. If you like, you can select one of them and start reading. And again, it's totally free. Enjoy it. Posters. Students spend a lot of time in the classroom. So it is important that you decorate your walls with content that will encourage, assist and motivate them. In this section, we can have a poster that makes our students motivated and we can draw their attention easily. All we need is just drag the mouse on the posters and here we see quick review. You can check the poster's appropriateness before you download it. If it's not readable, you can click on this button to make it bigger and go to full screen mode. And if you like it, on the right bottom of the site, here is the button for printing. Just click on it and print. It's totally free. Books. This section is a bit different from the others because ebook is not free. Therefore, you can't download it unless you pay the price. Click on learn more. It costs $80. You have to pay via credit cards. Here it is. There are some instructions about the inside. You can quickly check and consider buying it. Here are some comments which belong to people who have this ebook. You have a chance to read the comments before you buy the book. If you really think that it is useful, you may have it after reading the comments below. After you buy, you can use the book in your computer, tablet and smartphones. So what are in the more section? Worksheets by season. In this section, you can find free worksheets about seasonal activities, such as Halloween, Father's Day, Thanksgiving, etc. You can find the activities according to each month of the year. This section can be seen as appealing for learners because they can relate to their lives. There are worksheets over 800 currently. You can also filter language level by considering your learners. If you want, you can view worksheets in terms of date, popularity or rate as well. Creative writing prompts. In this section, you can find 600 great questions to use in writing activities. This part of the website provides many interesting and creative topics to encourage students to write. These prompts are great for teachers to facilitate students' writing. You can see more prompts by clicking the arrow on the right or just clicking on the dots at the bottom. Also, at the bottom, the questions are divided into sections in order to make it easier to find and go through each question. By using these questions, you will not only be able to give students creative topics, but also be able to make students think in different perspectives and improve their critical thinking. These can be applied to various kinds of ways, such as speaking activities, icebreakers, information gap activities, and so on, depending on the teacher's creativity. Warmers, icebreakers, and fillers. When it comes to this section, you will find ideas for activities such as warm-ups, icebreakers, and fillers. At the top of the page, you will see a text which informs you about the section's aims, features, and benefits. If you need any other help about this section, or just want to get more knowledgeable about it, you can simply read this. There are some related articles suggested if you are interested. As you continue, there is a part where 10 most popular sheets are listed. Under that, you will see all the activities listed according to their recency. But if you want, you can change the sorting by clicking on the other options, right here. You can simply click on the title of the activities and read the activity. You don't need to download anything. You can also rate the activity by clicking these stars on the right side of the page. At the middle of the page, there is a part which allows you to subscribe in order to get notifications about the newest content on a weekly basis. So, if you don't want to miss the fun, just fill in these blanks and hit the sign up button. There is also a part on the left side that suggests some articles to become better teachers if you are interested. If you scroll down on the left side of the page, you will see 5 stars which gives you a chance to rate the section. However, to do that you need to sign up. At the very bottom, there is a button which allows you to submit your own worksheet. 
Maybe it's time for you to help other teachers now. What do you say? You can go to the next page by clicking on the numbers right here. Coloring pages to print. This section starts with an informative text, just like the rest of the sections. The main theme is the same. However, this time the content is coloring pages to print. Also, you can filter the content by learner's levels, as you can see on the left side of the page. This is a great opportunity to select suitable materials for your students. By hovering your cursor on the images, you can preview the material. These materials are usually for younger learners and they should be printed. They are good for making the lessons more enjoyable and relaxing for the children. Again, by clicking on the title, you will be directed to a page which contains information about the activity. On the right side of the page, there is a button to download the material. Free flashcard sets. In this section, you can find free flashcards about any topic you search, such as animals, foods, or holidays. There are flashcard sets over 300 currently. Flashcards are useful for vocabulary, grammar, and idioms. You can use them to make your students repeat certain things in any unit of your curriculum. Moreover, they are useful to remember words for learners because they are big and noticeable. You can view articles about this category on the left if you need any help. Also, you can filter language by considering your students. Classroom Management Worksheets If you experience hard times to regulate your class, or if you don't know where to start giving rules, you don't need to search any further. You can find free classroom management and discipline worksheets over a hundred in this section. You can use most popular section as a start point. There are different aspects of managing classroom. If you need a further help, you can look at the articles on the left side. Also, you can filter language by considering your students because regulating arrangements that students don't understand would not be useful. Emergency worksheets. If you want to narrow down your searching, we have emergency worksheets section here. You can explore your searching if you try to find a specific topic. There are worksheets over 70 about emergency. Teaching students about the emergency is important in terms of safety. You can inform your students about what to do if any help is needed, such as first aid, natural disasters, and etc. Again, you can filter language level by according to your learners. You can sort your search by date, popularity, and rate as well. Revision Worksheets In this section, you can find worksheets to revise related topics in class. There are approximately 200 worksheets currently. By using these worksheets, you can see whether your students remember the topics you covered or not. These worksheets can be used as games as well. Moreover, you can use these worksheets as a quiz or an exam. It's up to you. If you need any information about this category, you can look at the articles on the left side. You can filter language level by considering your learners as well. Resources we recommend. You can find many useful resources about teaching in this section. The first four websites are about mainly teaching resources. If you are searching for different aspects of teaching, you can take a look at the last four websites. Now you have seen all parts of BusyTeacher. As you can see, it is a very useful website to use in your classroom teachings. We hope you liked it. Enjoy! Hello dear friends, in this video I will show how to use BeasyTeacher.org in your real class. I have no time, that's why I took these worksheets from this website. Now guys, I will distribute these worksheets and at the end of the lesson we'll do it together, okay? Okay. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. Keep it 
And at the end of the lesson, we will do it together. Okay? Yeah. Let's move on to the lesson. <laughs> no. You have donation. Yes. You have to give all of your money to your friends. Yes. You are up. Yeah. You are the winner. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 